Charlie Burchu, Mick McNeil. And it's a pleasure to be on Rapido. It's been two years since their double live album, In the City of Light, which Simple Minds recorded in Paris. Since then, the band have retreated to the Scottish Highlands, and according to singer Jim Kerr, they found new inspiration there. The whole last new period was when we went into the big league, to the stadiums and big, big business. And although there was a lot of thrills and spills, it's great to see your record in the chart, and I've never gone on stage and thought the audience is too big. I always enjoyed it, but nonetheless, I think it did have a, an effect and uh, we had to try and um, get back to um, our basics and to do that we came back to um, not only our home where we put, put the suitcase but you could say our spiritual home as well. This newfound sensitivity is evident on the latest album. Mick McNeil played the accordion for Rapido, demonstrating the new Simple Minds sound and a return to their previously unexplored Celtic roots. There's a, a kind of cycle going on on this album, I think, of new and old. Um, from, you know, when you work with the computers and Trevor Horn and Stephen Lipson and people, but at the same time, the essence of a lot of the songs is the oldest, oldest instruments, the violin and accordion and even bagpipes. I guess for us to go, go forward, it seems we had to look, look to the past. It's more to do with being uh, a Glasgow band, and Glasgow is only 50 miles across the water from Belfast. And for years now, I'd hoped that we could write a song that um, offered some of the pain that is currently going on in Belfast, but also showed the kind of other side of Belfast, of people living day to day. And I was brought up, although in Glasgow, in an Irish kind of neighborhood, so it didn't feel, you know, strange to me. This is your land. The new album features all three tracks from the EP, but there's also a big surprise on the single, This Is Your Land, the presence of none other than Lou Reed. Ah, this is your land. Got in touch with him because um, I know there's a track on his new album, New York, a great album that he also writes a song with the same kind of a sentiment about how they're messing up the rivers and the forests of, of uh, the United States. He said to me, what do you want me to do? How do you want me to be in there? Uh, I said, well, uh, you know, how do you tell Lou Reed what to do? I said, um, just do a parody on Lou Reed. And he said, well, everyone else is doing that, so why not me? <laughs> Simple Minds have often pledged their support for Amnesty International and were a driving force behind last year's Nelson Mandela concert at Wembley. Their new album, Street Fighting Years, seems more overtly political. Actually, in ten years, we've written one out-and-out -out kind of political song called, called Mandela Day, where we obviously say no to apartheid. But the brief for the songs inside us was to hope that we could write music about, you know, people and places in these times. And when you do that, it's hard to ignore a political sort of dimension. But it wasn't the idea to write, a, write um, a political song first and foremost, because uh, I think then we really would get bogged down. 